You already know what time it is. Victory week. These Falcons won and oh, what we tell you? We told you last week, man. You already knew what was coming. It's your boy, Jared. Go ahead, follow me again. Triple underscore the king, triple underscore on X, formerly known as Twitter. And follow my brother, Brian, at Kinghead57. As usual, shout out to the good people at Barber's Chair Net. We get really into the regular season now. Go ahead, follow them on Twitter and Instagram at Barber's Chair Net. Subscribe to the Barber's Chair Network Patreon at patreon.com slash Barber's Chair Network. And visit the bcnet.com for more. I want to start brother, off brother. with a, with a, hey. <laughs> really? That's my coat. That's for my coat right now. <laughs> That's for my coat right now. Man, we ain't been one to know since 2017, brother. We didn't even know what COVID was the last time we was one to know. Man, totally different team. I can't believe it. I can't believe. It. Go ahead. You were in the you were in the bins, man. Tell the people. Oh yeah, we were in there deep. Folks on Twitter hating X, hating talking about there was nobody in the stands, brother, brother, brother. Why why do they like to create these these falsehoods? Come on, when man. it comes to these dirty birds, man. That's we were in there rocking. Turned up. Well, we had a whole Jeezy concert after Bijan scored. Put Lit. on for my city. Lit. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Lit. Lit. No, so, yeah, man. It was a good time. I think the fans just, I'm, you know, I'm tired of it. Like the fan, I know it's been a tough few years, but it's like, bro, like, why why root for a team and be negative? Right. Like that's what that's what this podcast is for, man. You know, we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you realism. You could be look, if you suck, you suck. We called Michael Walker a bum for 17 games and now he's sitting he might as well come on the podcast with us because he ain't got nothing to do so it's like we're gonna tell you look i get being real i get being negative but come on man the Benz was rocking the Benz was i can hear the Benz all the way over here in seattle man y'all was Mm y'all was lit that was the most lit it's been since so since 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 the Benz open really since so i love it we had a couple of games but that was up there with the top you know, man, we really won, bro. This it's always a it's always a good Monday, good week. You know, I can I can mm-hmm. I, I work this week. I've I've Figure actually done day. some work. It's like <laughs> my Falcon yes. won. Winner. So but yeah, man, I'm just week one. A bunch of craziness. Hey, we got we got W. We got out healthy. And we we showed up as a crib. Bijan scored a touchdown. Like it's so many. It wasn't clean. Not a lot of teams had a good clean week one, but bro, like as we just said, Rogers ain't make it out. He got four snaps. He made it out. Out the game. Out the season. He out. That's my dog, but you know, go sit down, big fella. Exactly, man. He might as well go kick it with time. He might he as well gonna, just commentate. Can I'm they hire him? He gonna be with Pat. He gonna be announcing, yeah. You're gonna be with Pat, man. It's true. You want the Manning cast or you want Pat and the boys? Which one you want on Monday night? That's what you yep. <laughs> give me your options now. Post career up perfectly. Yeah. So, but it's like, yeah, man, like <clears throat> give me, give me one and oh, a 14 point victory in hell. And that's what we got. It was Thanks. rough. You know, we'll get into it, but whew. hey, I'll, no picks. Nope. Falcons ain't turned the ball over. Desmond Ritter is still undefeated at home. Zero he's turnovers. Still, he's still continuing his streak. The, the longest streak to start a career with no turnovers. We didn't even do plus or minus on the turnovers, on the fumbles or interception. We sure didn't. I knew we missed up. I knew we 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 ramp it up. Everybody ramping up week one. Everybody's ramping up. Zero. Man. And a winner. And a <laughs> he showed them boys what a what a second year pro look like versus a rookie. Yeah, man. Oh, I man. mean, that's that's really the Win thing. The game. That's why I was like, bro, we shouldn't lose to a rookie quarterback. I mean, mm-hmm. Ritter ain't play a clean game. We already know that. We've already talked about that ad nauseum on Twitter. But 
I mean, we could just jump right into these stats, man. Ritter, 15 for 18, 115 yards, one touchdown. He was sacked and four times. And a catch. <laughs> but think about it. He was he was sacked four times, hit six times. Like you only threw the ball 18 times. Like that's all we asked for. Isn't was, that what we've been asking for? Yeah. Like, I mean, it didn't go to it didn't go to Drake. It went one time. Kyle got two catches, but we said manage the game, get the win, run the ball. Yep. When the game throw four hundred to Drake, we didn't say throw one or two interceptions is fine or fumble the fall. Don't do none of that. Manage the game, get the win, get the win. A one and this is how this team's been built, bro. We've been talking about this for how long? Yeah. Clock management. That's all. That's what this team is. And y'all mad? Y'all think they supposed to open the game? Y'all think they supposed to open up the playbook in week one? Whole thing. The whole thing. That, bro. Y'all don't play cards. Y'all don't play bones. Y'all don't, y'all don't play nothing. No games with strategy, huh? Oh, good. Nothing. They're, they're wide open. This Madden. Wide bro. Open. I mean, they we should be playing for next year, bro. They should have broke 30 points. I mean, it, it, the first half was rough, but it's like, I get it. You know, he ain't got no film. I don't know how Frank Reich and Thomas Brown going to call that offense. I don't know how Ejero is going to call that defense. So it's like, all right, like, what are we going to do? And then it's like, you go out, you don't expect Brian Burns to turn into damn Lawrence Taylor. His preppers. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he was, <laughs> he was kicking everybody's ass in the first half where it's like you had you had pits wide open on the uh the sack fumble on the uh third down play pits wide open he probably goes for 20 30 yards on that deep out he he made jeremy chin fall Mm -hmm. like that was the best route i've seen kyle pitts run since he's been a falcon and it's like i drew it up and mcgarry turns into a matador it's like go for it like he didn't get no help. You know, you had a couple plays. Jake getting blown up. Jake got Jake. Jake got blown up by Burns early, and then he got smoked by Justin Houston on a one on one later. I'm like, come on, Jake. Like, Lindstrom was on the ground. He he had a couple plays where he <laughs> Derek Brown did. Bloody, bro. <laughs> yeah, like it's like you don't even expect. You, we can't say Lindstrom top two guards in the league, and then you mm-hmm. wake up week one. And it's like. Bro was getting yeah. baptized. <laughs> so, so I get it. I mean, then you saw second half. Brian Burns didn't do anything in the second half. Derrick Brown didn't do much of anything. Like, they, you know, he adjusted. Art adjusted to it, and they put up 17 points and, and, and walked away with it. So, mm-hmm. I ain't too mad, man. I mean, do I, do I, hey, Kyle Pitts, beef shot. We, we asked for it. On point. Everybody's like, oh, terrible pass. Bro, terrible pass is what Mariota was giving him all of last <laughs> season. There was no there was no opportunity to even make a contested catch in that situation for Mariota last season. So I'm not mm-hmm. going to sit here and be like, that was a bad pass. You throw that ball to Pitts. It was a pass interference and a catch. So either way, we down there. In double coverage, completed. He said, I don't care. Ball, throw it. That's exactly what we've been asking for. That's that's the type of pass that you completing that week one. By the time we get to week ten, week twelve, he's throwing it. You see, he's right. done it to Drake. Drake on the sideline against the Ravens. Drake on the sideline preseason against the Bengals. He's going to throw these contested passes, unlike Mariota. And you, that's why you drafted these monsters on the outside is to just give them a chance. Absolutely. Give them a chance. Let them do what they do. They did good work. It was, you know, it was solid work. It was, yeah. it it was, it was a great week one play calling adjustment. Yep. We were getting smoked in the first. I'd say the first half. First half. Mm-hmm. But we didn't get out of the game plan. Nope. Didn't get outside of ourselves trying to do what we're not supposed to be doing. Yep. To make it look pretty and keep the ignorant fan happy yep we said we, three incomplete passes that's all i can ask for that means they were on the money 
And it could it could have been a better choice. Yeah. Brett, you didn't turn the ball over. And you got out of there up 14 with a win. Well, it was it was a it was a rough, a rough week one, and you won by 14. Like <laughs> did you not see the the Cowboys and the Giants? Man. <laughs> We could have been like smoked forty been to zero. We could the Niners put them boys in the dirt thirty to seven. Like mm-hmm. I will, I will take what we got. All things considered, especially considered last year, you lost because Mario turned the ball over. Yeah, year before last, we got boat raced by the Eagles thirty two to six, and so it's like mm-hmm. again, we went from blown out to a close loss to a win, and y'all mad? We Man. ain't seen this. In a decade. <laughs> and people are mad. This is the biggest win since the Chiefs in 2012. And folks are still like, bro, he's hard. Okay. So it's like, I'm not even, you know, entertaining those folks anymore right now. Like, I get everybody want to hate Ritter. It's fun to be be anti right now. But the Falcons keep going 1-0 and every week. Hmm. You can stay mad. Yep. I'm going to be cracking these brews every week. <laughs> Taking it to the bank. Give me that cash. <laughs> but yeah, but hey, B. John and Algier, baby. Boy, we got lightning and thunder and thunder and lightning. I don't care whichever way you give it, you're going to get it. Come on, brother. We got a two headed monster back there. Ready to go, boy, ready and running. They gave that ball to Algier. Algier hit that corner like, boy, that's the zone that I've been tearing y'all up. Boy, come here. And then, you know, the freak, he, he a slick alien, bro. That's why his hair like that. That fool made that touchdown on that swing pass. Bruh. Brother, the he, he hit him with the he, he. When that happened, I said, what? <laughs> like, I, it took me a second to celebrate the touchdown because I said, he really, I've never seen nothing like that. <laughs> like, he caught it. Jab. Like, and it's like Art was like, yeah, I mean, he do something every day like that you've never seen before. So I know he's gonna do something. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I know it's gonna be something. And it's like mm-hmm. that's why that's why you pick him. Folks are like, bro, he's a running back. No, uh, as no. you saw, like he looked he looked better than Shady McCoy running that ball. He's a fool. He's like he's like Reggie. He like Reggie Bush. Like the cuts he was making at full speed, he's he's sprinting and just mm, mm. I was it's 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 unreal. And then you hand the ball off to Algier, and it's like, bro, they both averaged five yards a carry. Algier averaged five yards a carry. B. John averaged five point six. They both had over a twenty yard run in week Total. one. Total. In week one, I'll give you fifteen vet. I'll give you ten rip, but you're gonna get you're gonna get six balls. Exactly. <laughs> like the ball went to Algier 18 times and the B John 16 times. And then think about this. We are saving our pass catchers. We toting and leaning. You don't even you don't even gotta worry about Drake and, and Pitts taking these hits. Pitts coming off surgery, bro. Drake, Drake is a basketball player. We're gonna keep it real. He don't need to be taking them hits. Let him get his, he's gonna get his. They're not finna let this this year go to waste with him. No. Because it's too it's too important, it's too valuable, and it's too important to Ritter's development and Drake's development. Yeah. So it's it's too much leaning on, you know, and then he was what top five big? Eight. Pitts is four. London. Top eight. ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Top ten big. You don't you don't just waste that. So not at receiver. Don't... And it's like you got team players. Like the fact that they, mm-hmm. he was like, "Yeah, Drake didn't care. We won." It's like, "Yeah, bro." Now, if we if they would have got smoked by fourteen, and I don't get the ball, it's like, "What the hell are we doing?" But right. it's like, nah, like B. John cooking they ass, bro. <laughs> right. Deep out, there. Yeah, like Jesse got three picks. B. John showed up, got the crowd lit. Al get two picks, three turnovers, two picks. Algier got the crowd lit. B. John got the crowd lit. We got the big shot to Pitts. And I dropped the ball. So, of course, I'm more mad that I dropped the ball than exactly. not throwing me the ball. Like, Nick, if I'm, if I'm not going to catch the ball, don't throw me the ball. Period. 
So it's like you got they got the right mindset. Like, and like it's stuff like that where it's like, all right, Drake goes up for for ten catches, one hundred, you know, twenty yards on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you earned it. Like if that's your matchup, right. but win, like win, win the game, win like, the game, win, win the game that you got to play. Like sometimes I'd rather, I'd rather turn up in Atlanta in week one after playing the game. Knowing who I am, as we speaking from Drake, knowing who I am, I'm still that boy. It don't matter. We won. And I'm about to go work harder because we won. And I'm about to get some more balls because I know they're coming my way. You know they're coming. You know they're coming. <laughs> and, like, come on. and like you said, it's like Ritter didn't throw. I'm trying to think of any inaccurate passes. Like his worst pass is probably that out he threw. To Mac Hollins. Mm-hmm. But it's like, That's it's not like, he was, get. yeah, it's not like he was throwing. His first pass was a pick, though. <laughs> that first pass was an interception. <laughs> I, I was shook. <laughs> and then I cracked up laughing. <laughs> when he That's, caught that ball, I said, of course, this, this is perfect for the media. <laughs> I said, hey, hey, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, man. Yeah, that but, was hilarious. Yeah, I'm, I'm Bruh, the whole crowd was just like when it got tipped and it went up. Everybody was just like, <sighs> "We all, we all was like, <laughs> man, first pass, and then he finishes fifteen of eighteen. That first pass messed it up for everybody. <laughs> it was like, bro, I, 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 I can't lie. His own ball. First, when that ball went up, I said. I didn't talk all this shit for you, bro. Like, don't do me like this. <laughs> oh my goodness! But hey, we pulled through. But the, the only pass that, the only play that, like, I'm very, it's a couple plays I'm disheartened by. Johnny Smith looked like ass. But mm. I'm gonna chalk it up. He missed a lot of camp. And, you know, I'm gonna give you week one. I'm gonna give you a pass week one. I give him. I give him a month. Yeah, but because he, he in a new place, you know. He, yeah, he looked clueless out there at the time. He had some good blocks, I will say. In the run game, he had some he had some good blocks. The run from Algier, John New helped seal that edge. So it's like, you know, he 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 percolating a little bit, but bruh, some of the stuff that he missed on, it's like, what the hell are you doing, bruh? So that was disheartening. And then Algier running out of bounds on that screen. I was like, <sighs> like that one hurt. That one hurt. I think that one hurt. Everybody equally, even out here. Because uh, did you see Art when it happened? He on the sideline, like mm. that one hurt. He ran out of bounds right in front of him, and as soon as he ran out of bounds, you can see Algier like. I don't think he. I don't think he realized it was third down, but that's one he probably watched. They probably watched in film, and I bet you, if I was oh, Art, I'd have, I yeah, I'd have just rerounded five times and not said nothing, and just be like, <laughs> all right, next play. In your memory, mm-hmm. I do this shit again. <laughs> Don't play with me. Right. Act like we ain't got Bijan and Cordero ain't play, right? <laughs> like that one, that one hurt only because Algier be running folks over. It's like, bro, you ran out of bounds short five yards. You had four blockers and two defenders ready, like, and you Algier running full speed, like you're getting that five yard. So them the, that that hurt, but. You know, we can go ahead and make this smooth transition over to my dog number three. Hmm. Hey, the real number three. Now I can I can start. I, I I can say number three again. Man, Jesse, I'm this sorry. Is to be. This is why we talk so much trash about number three having number three. That boy should have. And had. now number three has number three. Man, man, and he he gave you a hat trick. He said, "This is why I wear three. Mm-hmm. Two picks and a forced fumble. Nasty picks. Ten I haven't tackles. seen a safety like that. Have we had a safety like that to come downhill and pick them balls off like that? Since we were alive, no. So a couple of people said the coup. I love the coup. I was a Dakou fan. The coup was not doing that. The coup was getting right. getting deep passes. He was no flies on right. the pipe. Where it's like, all right, you throw it 30, 40 yards down the field, I might go get it. Jesse mm-hmm. was Jesse was terrorizing Bryce. Mm-hmm. He said, he said, 
And it's like we said all, all week last week, the whole time. It's like, bro, the Panthers' weapons are ass. Jesse Bates did not drop back deep once. Didn't allow any catches. Nothing. And he was tagging folks. Like, when he was tackling, you were feeling like it's the energy. Like, mm-hmm. that's that's what you pay Jesse for. He know he a right. dog. Right. And he going to make the rest of the secondary play like him. Like, even AJ. Clamps. Let's see. Clamps. Seatbelt. But it's like before, it's like, you know, you got Ricardo back there. You know, folks, fans just see defense as passive. I mean, we ain't giving up big plays. We ain't making no plays. This, right. this is what we've been waiting on. It's like he changed the game. Mm-hmm. He brought energy to the stadium. Like, y'all were dead. I was dead. I was like, bro. We were chilling. We was like, bro, like, Ritter ain't throwing this ball. <laughs> he can do a ball to himself. It didn't feel no it different. Low. Cause it, it was seven to seven all the way up, bro. They were <laughs> people were booing mm-hmm. going into halftime. <laughs> yeah, rightfully so. <laughs> we were not happy. Rightfully so. And I wonder what that halftime speech was. They came out lit. They came out lit. They came out different. I mean, you give up mm-hmm. three points, and you yep. and that three points was early in the uh, oh, early, early in the third. third. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, some will say it. Some I'm sure it wasn't Chris. <laughs> Big fella. Yeah, man. I was, I, told you. I was, I was just happy to see the secondary. Like, I just was. It's so many times we've seen the Falcons play a team where I'm like, all right, the weapons are not good. We shouldn't give up, and then we sit. I go all the way back to 2017. I just remember people were like, oh, we got a top 10 defense. I was like, we let Jay Cutler and Jarvis Landry score 24 points. Cook. <laughs> and lost. Jay Cutler was in the in the booth. He was in the booth. <laughs> he unretired, and they beat us. And everybody was like, oh, it's because Sark can't score. The defense wasn't doing shit. He said, oh, yeah, I do that. Like, Smoking think about tank. it. You got a defense. Ritter got a defense who gave up 10 points in week one. Ritter could have pissed his leg. All he had to do was score 13 to win. Mm. When last time when, – when did Matt ever have that? No. Vic didn't even have that. Like, it's like, bro, like you actually got a defense where it's like if a team comes in and they and their offense is not good, you – good luck. Your, I mean, your defense – yeah, your offense is not good, good luck. Your defense be able, better be able to shut down our offense. Right. And that was the only reason why it was a game is because – Brian Burns and Derek Brown were turned up, all in out. And as soon as they were taken out of the game, CJ Henderson ain't guard nobody. Jeremy Chin can't guard nobody. They couldn't stop the run. And it's like, horn they, mm-hmm, horn went out. You make them corner. What we say? You make them corners tackle. They not, not built for it. The game. They not built for it. Totally. So, I'm. I'm content. Welcome to Atlanta, Jesse. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate the good balling. We're going we're gonna, to hey, A. Caden Ellis. I don't really got much. I don't think he had a bad game. He didn't really do much of nothing. Positively or negatively. He was there. He wasn't, he wasn't Rashawn Evans. He wasn't Michael Walker. But my boy Troy, I need I need Troy to. Hey, you need man. to change numbers. It's probably that 44. Probably that might be it. I don't know who told him to pick that number. But uh, he had three tackles, though, and seven assists. You know how I feel about assists. I got to get on my boy. We consistent. Come on now. You, you piling, you jumping on the pile now. Three and seven. Mm-mm. That's not uh, good. Caden out Where here with is six and three. Exactly. <laughs> out of nine. Like, mm-mm. Got to be the other way around. At least Jesse went five and five. Yeah. But Jesse had other stats. Yep. So, you know, you get a half a sack, that's piling on again. Get the quarterback down. It's a quarterback. It's a little boy, too. 
I give uh, him that sack. I don't. I don't know how they gave Grady that half sack. I'm giving Troy that full sack, but that's good. That's good. That was donation to Grady. Yeah, Troy. Troy Grady, Hall, no, they, they, they. I guess you would say they held it down because I don't know. Does uh, does Carolina's offense? Does Carolina have a good offensive line to you? Bro, they were getting abused all preseason, and then hell, we were we were like five sacks, ten hits. We got. Two sacks, seven hits. Ten, seven. But they got but the five. It, yeah, it was mostly it was mostly second half production. Like, right. They that's why I'm like, okay, like first half is like I don't know how you're going to attack. They they were expecting the Panthers to run the ball. I mean, right. Andy Candy barely played. You had Huggins playing. You had Zach Harrison playing. So it's like, all right, you were you, what. Who in their right mind gonna take a rookie week one and throw the ball forty times? Them fools wearing light blue. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, I I kind of get it, and I think they got to the second half and said they're really gonna throw this ball like this. Okay, and once Jesse got a pick or two, Bryce started second guessing stuff. So yeah, that's all she wrote. That's all you need from a, from a rookie. Man, who's Bryce Young's oh. passer rating? A uh, forty-eight. A uh, forty-eight. Forty-eight. What was Riddle's password? Riddle was one twelve. Peaches and cream. <laughs> um, but it's like I want Troy to do better, man. You can see Troy. Troy's still an athlete playing linebacker. You can see he made a couple good reads, but the bad ones be like bad. That's why they got Jesse. <laughs> You're gonna make me shed a tear, bro. Facts. Every time, every time Troy missed a, a run fit or some kind of assignment, Jesse was there. Scoop, scoop. Even on the pick. I, yep. Bro, and that's the other thing too, bro. As much as I like Dean Pease, he played too passive. I'm like, you ain't got the best talent. But like, bro, they dusted off the the first pick Jesse got. They ran cover two on the front side. And it, it looked like man too on the backside, but I don't know because Jesse didn't move. <laughs> Jesse looked and said, "All right, offers on Thielen, I take that bet." And I forget, I don't know who was on the backside, but it's like I'll take that bet. Bryce, where are you going? You ain't you ain't Underneath. going to them. You're not going down there. And it's like finally, because normally everybody's like. Yo, I would say you're supposed to be deep. Everybody underneath, bro, go make plays. You got to play, make, make plays. Play. You ever seen Ed Reed play football? That boy ain't playing paper football. That boy, where you? Where do I think you going and I'm going to beat you to it? <laughs> man. Every time. So, but we're going to see, man. Like, I like I like how the line came alive um, in the second half. They started running stunts. They started running – you know, some blitz packages. They sent a, a big blitz on that third and long where they hit them with the screen versus uh Chenault. Mm. You remember that when they had the they had the screen? Like, it was like third and twelve. I said, all right, we about to get off the field. And they ran that screen, and I was like, ooh, that was a perfect call. But then they ran it again later, and that was when um that was when um Lorenzo got his sack. Mm. And so it's like they got. They got after him. I mean, they did. so it's like I, I just trying to figure out who is going to be the real. I mean, they're going to get it together. Calais was on the ground a lot. I'm going to take him again. Camp, he didn't really play all that much. Um, Bud Dupree was ass. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I'm happy to see Harrison got some play. Mm-hmm. They had him in a good rotation. I'm not crazy about Evan Kedi wearing 17 though. Hey, he was he was he, They gave him 11 pass rush snaps. He had a hit in a hurry. He was he was your second best pass rusher. They need to hurry. 11 snaps. That's all he got. Oh, uh, they were playing heavy. They played so here's who. who Ebby Ketty got 18 snaps out of 77. Mm-hmm. 
Calais played 51. Grady played 49. Onyemata played 40. Huggins played 25. Harrison Where played 23. It was like he just popped up out of nowhere. Albert Huggins, he came from the Saints. So I get it. He knows the scheme. Some nose tackle relief. Looks like Dupree played 50 and Lorenzo played 35. Mm. Bud Dupree played 50 snaps and got four hurries. And so it's like, he's just not getting there. And then Lorenzo Carter, I got hemmed up uh, by Iquanu one time. He was, yeah, out there looking, he was out there looking like uh, Day Day talking about. Yeah. I was like, Ain't and we're not going to give Evan Ketty no love. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather a second year pass rusher be looking like that than a vet. A real vet, real vet, but mm-hmm. but you know, sign everybody from Georgia, <laughs> man. Okay, this ain't, we're not even talking about it. How many, how many, uh, <laughs> what did Nolan Smith do on Sunday? Oh, you <laughs> not I'm a damn it. thing. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Not a damn thing. That boy had what one tackle or some shit. I was gonna say an assisted tackle. Assisted. <laughs> Nothing. Boy. You haven't heard about him all since he was drafted. Every time, every time he had one solo tackle, but every time uh Nolan Smith pops up on my timeline, it's him reminiscing about Keely Ringo's pick six. <laughs> that was so. good right there. But no, let's get back on uh let's get back on topic, man. I just I had to throw you that bone, man. We're gonna have a weekly Nolan Smith stat update. <laughs> man, tell me Jalen Carter balled out. We knew that we, was that's good. expected though. Yeah, we, we knew that, but we know we know what we got, but we said why not get Bijan? Yep. Hey, Bijan put seven on the board. Hmm. Jalen hmm. Carter didn't put no points on the board. Hmm. And the Patriots almost beat them boys. <laughs> in Mac, front of Tom. Mac Jones put up 316 yards and three touchdowns on them. Mm. Who they receivers? They just call themselves the homies. Boy, Eagles, Eagles better tighten up. Them, them Philadelphia Bulldogs better tighten up. <laughs> I really don't like UGA fans, but. That's neither here nor there, man. Some of y'all look good, but a lot of y'all aren't Falcons fans, and I'm gonna say that I'm, I'm gonna put it on wax. One hundred. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I'm here for the Falcons fans first. But yeah, man. Hey, we got the Green Bay Packers coming up. You know what I'm saying, cuz on yeah, yeah. September 17th, and. You know they got they 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 look they look good. They I mean they ain't look bad. They look good. They beat the Bears thirty eight to twenty. Bears aren't a good team. Um, mm. Sorry to uh, shots. Sorry Dante, our shots. Our producer's a Bears fan, and you know. So y'all think it's bad being a Falcons fan? Holler at the Bears fan. Ooh. <sighs> mm. I don't know how I feel about this game. I watched the All-22 wasn't up yet by the time we recorded this. I haven't gotten a chance to really dig in. I watched the broadcast, and they didn't do anything special. Like, Jordan Love looked good. Like, it's not like it's not like the Dolphins. I think we're going to get bow raced if we play the Dolphins. I don't think so. That thing scares me, like, Mm-mm. in a general sense. But the Packers, it's like, okay, I mean – they played they play good, clean football. They blocked well. They caught the ball. They ran well routes. Like, it was a solid B-plus day. But the Bears had an F day, <laughs> so they got blown out. Definitely. Yeah, it's like, it's not like, it's yeah. not like, yeah. Like, it's not like any, 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 anything was special. Like, Would you say Ritter is a better quarterback than Justin Fields? Oh, Justin Fields is Marcus Mariota. Ooh. 
Put the tape on. Between those lines. The tape on. Hmm? The tape on, Justin Fields. Where's that one? That boy almost that boy almost threw a pass on his back, bruh. <laughs> he was getting sacked on the sideline, and I saw him hit this right here, and I said, I know he's not about to do that. Let it go. Yeah, man. Hey, I feel bad. He's just set up. He just – man, that's why I said, like, DJ Moore – it's good, but DJ Moore is not a oh wide receiver one A. He a wide receiver one B. Yeah, and he's not good enough to take a quarterback like Justin Fields. He's like Devontae Smith to AJ Brown. It's like you got two ones, but if AJ Brown goes down, nobody's scared of Devontae like Smith they, by himself. Like they said, AJ Brown, Batman. Exactly. DJ Moore is good, but he he's not gonna make a quarterback like Justin Fields good. At all. So we're gonna see. And then they got deficiencies over there on the other side with Claypool, but that's neither here nor there, like we the master see. says. We're gonna see them boys on Christmas. Exactly. Wrap mm-hmm. you up, put you over there to the side. Yeah. But it's like, you know, look at look, like Jordan Love threw for 245 yards. They ran for 92 yards. Like it's it's not it's not one of them days where it's like they put up 38 points. They, you know, just drug them all over the field. Like, it was just it was just a solid day. Like, there was no point where I was watching it where I was like, I don't know how we – how the Falcons beat the Packers. So – It's going to be a fun game. I think the score going to run up. I can see that. I, I think uh I think Christian Watson might play. And uh because they you know Aaron Jones got that hamstring. Dubs played. Yeah. I think he played, didn't he? So you know, unless they're gonna lean on AJ Diller. But I don't yep. know if they want to probably they got a they got a decent offensive line, but does that is that highlighting the Bears deficiencies? Now you see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, Bakhtiari is good. Zach Tom is good, but they're not unstoppable. The yeah, if the Bears are ass, then I don't, I don't know how to judge it. Like their best pass rusher is Yannick Ngakwe, so it was probably like whenever they, I could play personnel games to get him off the field. Now you don't got nobody rushing. Exactly. So, so yeah, I mean, and then. You know, you got Fields turning the ball over. He had an interception and a fumble. The Bears' defense is not good. They they got finessed, first off and second <laughs> off, by T.J. Edwards and Tremaine Edmonds. They're paying them more than $100 million. Ooh. Tremaine Edmonds. For as lost as I think Troy gets at times, Tremaine Edmonds be lost. Hey, man. He just be out there rocking and rolling. That's literally yeah. what he be doing. <laughs> like, for real. It's, yeah. So, but like, again, right? So, receiving. the the Their leading receiver was Aaron Jones. Right. Two catches for 86 yards. He routed T.J. Edwards up on a, on a little choice route out of the backfield and just gone 50 yards on a fourth down play for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Romeo Dubs got two touchdowns, but he only got 26 yards. Like he's he's not fast. He's like, you know, he's like Robert Woods type, where it's like you gotta guard him because he got good hands, he can block, he's gonna get open, he's gonna produce. But it's not he's not threatening. Like right. if, if Watson plays, Dubs is a good two. As a one, you know, they went to Aaron Jones, Luke Musgrave. You know, that's 130 of your yards right there. And, like, Jaden Reed had a, you know, one big 30-yard play. But then, you know, his other other, yeah, his other catch was, you know, 18 yards. And so it's like, you know, without Watson, it's not too varied of a passing attack on the outside. When I got somebody like Jesse Bates back there, when I got, you know, A.J. Terrell on the outside, let Jeffrey come back, free slime. Cooter and the Joker. <laughs> you throw in Cordero, that is gonna change up the game. 
They haven't even seen quarter. That's like that was like our whole offense at one point. <laughs> That's probably why Art was confused. He said, "Damn, I can't run half these plays because Cordero ain't here. Cause he's not here." I think Cordero's itching after seeing the dome rocking like that. He's like, "Oh, y'all fucking with us like this? Cheese You know he gonna cheese." Hey, baby, we're going to get there. I'm going to be there Sunday. I'm getting to the Dome early. I'm trying to catch a pass from, from old CP one time. Oh, yeah, you talking about early, early. It ain't just regular early. I'm going to get there early. Hey. You might as well camp out. Them cheese heads going to be out there. If you if you listening to this, come find me. I'm going to have some drink. <laughs> I'm going to have some drink. You drank on me, man. I'm celebrating my birthday. Last Turned time up. I seen the Packers in the bins, they got beat. <laughs> Cook book, cook book. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a fun one. Like, I, I don't, I don't really gotta read either way. Like, if we lose, I can see us losing by three. If we win, I can see us winning by three. Like, Jordan Love looked good, but I'm trying to just, I don't know how much of it is the Bears being bad. Like, if you can't sustain drives, you got short fields. You know, you get a couple big plays. From Aaron Jones. And like you said, Aaron Jones, hamstring. Okay, go ahead and play Aaron Jones. And we're going to make Aaron Jones carry the team to victory. Mm-hmm. Let's see if the hamstring can hold up. And I don't know if they, I don't know if they, they go that way. And then it's like the Packers defense is, their defense is good. Like that's the thing. It's like they hold teams mm-hmm. like, they're solid. Solid. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's why I think the score run up. It's not going to be, think, Jair Alexander, one of my favorite corners in the league. You know, he gonna take Drake lining away. But then think about it like this: the way Art called previous game, that's perfect. That's fine because we can win without him. You ain't get a pay. You got a target. You got and one we won target. By Twenty-four points. We won so by fourteen. My wide receiver one got one target, and I won by fourteen. And and you're mad about? Okay. Cool. And we're going to go out there. You got Jair Alexander and Razul Douglas on the outside having to go against Mac Hollins and Drake London. Yep. Again. And it's like you see they getting the ball to B. John. And they getting the ball to B. John in space. Mm-hmm. Concerted effort. And so, and then Quay Walker's already in the uh, concussion protocol. Shout out. Shout out to the dog. Serious? Hey man, you know, week two in the grand scheme of things, when you get to week seventeen, how often do you think about week two? You ain't even thinking about it, unless you lost. Did he play at Georgia? Yes, sir. What does he want to do? Who does Georgia play this week? They play South Carolina. He gonna go down and watch the game. Thank you. <laughs> that Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, man. So then you got Devondre, Devondre out there by himself. Ooh, we owe him several. He oh, we need to show him his age. I think Bijan gonna break him off. He gotta, he gotta get broke down. Yeah. Or Tyler gonna truck him. Somebody, somebody gonna run into him. They gonna let him know who he. I, and that's why I want Cordo to come back, the historian. The historian. <laughs> Give him one of them good them honey badger trucks. Catch him slipping. Yeah, you thought you were coming downhill. Ah, you know, he yeah. ignorant. He liked to throw that head. Yeah. It's going to be fun, though. Like, oh, whoa, whoa. Shout out Matthew Bergeron. Oh, big he fella. Was, he was the best O lineman on the field on Sunday. Because I totally forgot he was even playing until the fourth quarter. I said, wait, I forgot to watch Big Fella. Didn't even look at him. That's how it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Forgot. He was <laughs> hold him, hold him. He just he just – it was effortless. <laughs> I was like, bro. Like, I went back and watched it. I think I watched the game three times now, and I'm just like, they really got this pick right. Yeah. Like, nobody was pushing him. Mm-mm. Nobody was pushing him. He didn't really get better. Yeah. The first run play of the game, they ran right behind them, and it went for for eight nine yards. I'm like, okay, tote. 
I loved it. You patched it up. Very yeah. nice. And so let let McGarry and uh, Lindstrom have a bounce back game. First off, Derek Brown is Chris Lindstrom's kryptonite. I'm going to just <laughs> – he ain't gonna be getting folded like that. Like Kenny Clark is good, Devontae Wyatt is good. Lindstrom's not Nate Davis. Mm. Nate Davis was out there. Uh, Nate Davis looked like Jalen Mayfield for the Bears on Sunday. <laughs> the way he was just getting Ole every snap. Mm. So it's like if the O line gets back right. You know, Preston Smith is good. They got Rashawn Gary on a snap count. Lucas Van Ness is a rookie, but he's he a freak athlete. So they got a decent pass rush. But I think I think they can be had. Call a better yeah. passing attack. Don't be on that, you know, soft shit. You know. Scotty Scotty Miller got to play. And Hodge has to play. You can't bog down the offense yeah. with no speed like that. I'm not crazy about those two, but I get it. Yeah, it's really just a speed threat. You sitting here with Drake London ain't a speed threat. Mm-hmm. Collins ain't a speed threat. And you sitting here, it's like, all right, you put Pitts out there? Okay, I mean, I'll take my chances. But you put Scott. Right. Scott, you got four, too. You have to back up <laughs> yeah. and just send them a couple of times. You saw what happened with the Panthers. They had no speed. Right. So, um, yeah, so, I don't know, man. I'm We're excited. Gonna see, We're I'm gonna excited. See. I think there's going to be a – a good litmus test. Uh, hold on. What's the over under on this? We're going to find it. we going to find it. And it's going to be 1 o'clock, man. That game, that game kicking off at, at, at 10 a.m., boy. I popped a bottle of bottle of Prosecco right on kickoff. Game was over at 1 o'clock. I got on a scooter and smoked some... <laughs> Hee haw. All right, a little over under. Um okay, so they're giving us a 50 52% chance to win. I like it. Is the over under not out yet? Oh, there we go. Over under 40 points. And they got great. We running it up. They low balling us. Might put some money on that one. Ooh, okay. Score prediction. I'm gonna go 31 21. 31 21? Mm-hmm. Who? What? That's disrespectful. I kick you off. 31 21 Falcons. Maybe 31-24, something like that. 31-21. 31-21 Falcons. Who's going to score these points? Cordero going to get one. Kyle Pitts going to get one. B. John's going to get another one. Mac Holland's going to get one. So, Drake, over? How many how many balls are you going to catch? Three. And it's going to be three. Yeah, three for 45. Then it's going to be... Oh, Falcons can't get Drake's London going, but Kyle Pitts going to have seven catches for 84 yards and a touchdown. And, you know, we ain't going to talk about they can't get Kyle Pitts the ball. That's part of the problem with too many weapons. But, yeah, give me those four. Because I think Matt Collins going to get a random – I think they're going to be like, okay, we're going to make sure we take Drake away at least in the red – because you can't take – that's that's the other problem. If they get in the red zone – all right, <laughs> Call a good game, please. But yeah, it's like that size in the red zone. Somebody gonna get lost, and so I think it's Mac Hollins gets lost on a random busted coverage. I don't think enough eyes are gonna get loose on Drake. I don't see who guards Kyle Pitts, and I think Ritter is different than Mariota in that he knows that, and he's like, I'm gonna just throw him the ball because you can't guard him. Right. And then Cordero back in. Cordero scores at the crib. That's what he does, man. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> He's like, bro. Surprise. Yeah. And then who can guard you? Really run for one? No. He not running like that. <laughs> he not running like that. I think he breaks 200 yards, though. That'll be interesting. 
What you we'll got? See. Over under 40 and a half. Yep. I'm going to go. Thirty-one eighteen birds. Oh, oh! I mean, they on they on ten straight games of not allowing twenty points. So mm -hmm. you see where that's going? Where it's coming I from? Saw it. I saw it. I saw it immediately. <laughs> Bruh said eighteen. You're not getting three touchdowns. You're not getting anymore. twenty. Not at the crib. And you just played these hours, so you think you're good. O line got something to prove. And we can win without Drake. You gonna focus on Bijan in this game, and I'm gonna throw it to everybody else, and I'm gonna still feed Bijan and and let Quay mess around and not play. Now I'm stressing your linebackers out even more. Boy, going to work. I like it. If the O line, if the O line, I hope the O line is pissed, and that's why I like Art. Being the head coach, he a old old lineman. Mm -hmm. He ain't letting them forget it. Y'all mm -hmm. sorry as hell. Look at this. <laughs> Look at him rolling on the ground like a <laughs> like a slip and slide. Boy. What is this, Chris? You on your knees? Who you praying to? <laughs> you already know he's gonna wear him out all oh, week. That's offensive. I bet you first three calls he calls are runs. You know it. That's that foolish pass. I want to know if Tyler starts in the backfield and Bijan starts in the slot. Is that how we rolling it out? That's what I want to see more of, too. Like, I need more formational uh, mixology. Well, I this think he got too. a little uh, – yeah, I think, I, think I think he was just like – I think he made it the Bijan show. Like, I feel like it was mm -hmm. like, all right, I'm going to show you all why we drafted Bijan. Yep. Because he, he an arrogant asshole. I get it. Yeah, but now that he got his win, he won by fourteen. It's like, all right, now let's let's get everybody else going. He had pits wide open a few times, so they're not yeah. gonna forget it. Thirty-one eighteen, boy. Thirty-one eighteen. All right, who's scoring? Who's scoring the points then? Hmm. I'm gonna get one to Bijan, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get one to Algier. And my dumb ass said Bijan was gonna only score six touchdowns this season. I'm stupid as hell. <laughs> 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 Let's see. And I need 17 more. Mm hmm. Just two touchdowns. Yeah. I think Drake gets one. Okay. I think Kyle Pitts gets one. I think they give it. I think they. I think they feed him. I think Kyle Pitts gets a fade. Who gonna jump with him on that team? Devondre. Yeah. See, that's, that's your that's only. Abuse. Yeah, that's your only one. He's six four. Everybody else is not big enough. You want to? Let's try it. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> I would like to find out. That's a young six six right here, boy, and a freak. Mm -hmm. That boy is that boy is spry. He is ready, bro. Um, come get mossed if you want to. Did you see him? Did you see him talking shit to Jeremy Chin once he shook his ass? He was like, mm -mm. "Oh yeah, Ritter got sacked, but boy, you was on the ground, boy." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, this is a different Kyle Pitts. This is what happened when you got a quarterback who can actually throw you the ball." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all, y'all gonna go bring us home? Yep. Okay. So we got Pitts, Drake, B. John. And who Tyler? Yeah, 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 your yeah, young core. That's the core. I like it. Man. I mean, they beat them. They beat them thirty-four to twenty-three in twenty seventeen. Last time I was in attendance, so it ain't mm -hmm. too clean. I'm, I'm gonna call one else. One more thing. I'm gonna get a big play by Bijan at least forty yards. Oh boy, that boy was sniffing. It's crazy. So he, close. Moves, he moves at such a different speed that I think defenders are like, oh, this bro moving too fast. <laughs> he ain't too big. He's big <laughs> and he's flying. 
with a smile on his face. This game, bro. Right. I'm with it. I hope that. Oh boy, that's the problem. All right, you put B. John in the backfield. Kyle Pitts in line. Now you got linebacker or safety on Kyle Pitts, and you run a, a, a Texas or a choice route out of the backfield to Bijan. Out of there. We not. He gonna do just like what he was doing to us in camp. Gone. Out of there. I can't wait. Man. Yeah, brother, it's about to be fun. They keep they keep underestimating the dogs, but we know. All right, turnovers. Plus or minus? Yeah, I'll let you. Uh, yeah, I'll let you pick the number. Yeah. Plus or minus one and a half for Ritter. Minus. I think he's gonna have a fumble. I don't trust our. I don't trust our tackles. He ain't gonna throw no pick. Fumble. We ain't had no fumble, baby. <laughs> I I think he fumbled because I think McGarry does some dumb shit or Jake liable to do some dumb shit. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he fumbles. I don't think he throws a pick though. Okay. Over under catches, Drake four. Four is a good number, bro. Give me three and a half. I want four. <laughs> four, bro. Four. Five. What you doing? Are you Over. playing or are you not? Over. Give me five. Because <laughs> it's like that mean that mean Ritter got to throw it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they're gonna even have to throw the ball that much this game either. It's like, bro. All right, cool. Like, yeah. just run away from Kenny Clark. Exactly. Over under picks, one and a half. One, AJ Terrell. Yes. AJ Terrell. Just one? Mm hmm. Bruh, I would just, I'm not going to speak on Jesse because I guess if I don't say, if I if I try him, <laughs> he's going to get one. But it's like, Jordan Love, fuck around and find out if you want to. There's no way you can. Oh, looking. <laughs> Cause you got one more in you. You know, about one. You know where he's at. That mm -hmm. was a baller. AJ, give me AJ. Just one. Mm -hmm. Cause I think Jordan Love the type. Unlike Bryce, Bryce a rookie. I think Jordan Love, if he throws one, he's gonna be like, all right, I'm not trying no. I'm not gonna try nothing. Get on free. Bryce went to the, yeah. Bryce went to the same pass, bro. Right. What are same you doing, thing. Bro? All right. You got betas of the same thing twice. You a whole fool. But yeah, no, I don't I don't think Jordan Love. I don't think you're gonna get two off Jordan Love. Oh man. I hope AJ gets one though. That boy, did you watch his mic up? Go watch his mic up. No, you know I didn't. Bro, it's 10 minutes and it's glorious. Hmm. They play, they finally playing defense like we've been begging. I know people been like, y'all crazy, bro. Like, why y'all think defense? This. Right. This. This is what we've been waiting for. Right. So, so yeah, it's, it's going to be fun, brother. Actually. How about, how about sex? Give me the over. AJ and Richie get picks. Richie. Richie almost had one off of Hayden. I think Richie would get a tip pick. I think Bates gets an over. D D offer tips it up or Akuda tips it up and one of the safeties get another pick. Akuda ain't playing, boy. Akuda coming back. We'll we'll find out. We'll find out yeah. shortly. I was about to say it's about to be news to me. Hey, Trey Flowers had a good day. That wasn't Cornell Armstrong out there. That's what happened when you have, have a, a a solid vet. He was solid. He wasn't so, good, but he wasn't bad. It was like, mm-hmm. Uh, 80. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yep. So, all right, sacks. One. That's the plus or minus? Yeah. I'm going to say the plus or minus at one and a half. I'd put $100 on the over. We getting multiple sacks? Yeah, at least two. I think Grady gets home. I 
I don't know. Grady gets Grady gets one. Grady gets one, and we get one on a blitz. That little sugar nickel. Okay. We'll see. They might run it. They might run it when like Aaron Jones is out of the game. That's the only thing. If Aaron yeah. Jones doesn't play, yeah, I blitz his ass just to make him block on the hammy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. I can see two. Yeah. I can see. I can see that. And I can then see if that. you if you if you do a, a blitz, let's say you do a run blitz, and he got AJ Dillon back there. That's what I was thinking. It's like if AJ Dillon back there, he's not really getting out. Right. So yeah, I was with you. I was I was I was like, bro, Aaron 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 Jones gonna burn our ass if we blitz. But it's like catching with the right person else. Like, go go right. get his ass, Troy. Right. Mm-hmm. So he'll stay with him. He like the dog. Man, man. All right. Ooh, I'm ready. Yep. I ain't gonna be able to focus. I'm glad I'm catching the red. I'm gonna be knocked out on that flight. Cook, what, what you drinking? On the flight? Yeah. Oh shit! I'm gonna I'm gonna drink some whiskey in the Sky Club before I get on the plane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gonna be a cook one? Drink a little whiskey. Shout out to SeaTac. I'm gonna knock out. Land at seven thirty. I'm a I'm a had a. Uh, I told y'all come find me. I'm gonna have that drink on me. Hit my DMs. Mention me if if I like you and if I follow you, I will hook you up. If I don't, I <laughs> mean you're not a real fan. <laughs> So, go ahead. I ain't fooling with you. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a, another great episode of King's Landing. Again, this has been your co-host, Brian King. Follow me on X at Kinghead57 and my brother at triple underscore the king, triple underscore on X or Twitter. We're going oh, with Twitter today, birds. What's up? Rise up, baby. Let's do it.